שבאיז ששלוי שיושב בדין, שכין השוי ביניהם. אין זה רק של יתו עד היום ובשיקול הדס, אלא כדי שפסק דינם יהיו דבר השם ולא רק אמס סיכלס. And that's why he says a side thing, that it says that when three דיונים, three judges, sit together to place, to make a judgment, the שכינה is over there. He says not just that they shouldn't make a mistake, but because the idea is that when, when they give a פסק דין, it should be the word of God. That's why the שכינה is there, to make sure that these three people should be Zaycha, to spread the word of God, and not just what they feel is emes according to their Seichel. Of course, if it doesn't feel right to them, they're not going to do it, but it has to be in conjunction. That's why it says that a dayan that is done, that paskins, judges, according to the emes la'amito, according to the truth, he becomes a partner with Hashem. What does that mean, he becomes a partner with Hashem? A judge that judges properly is very lucky, it means that he, he, he had siyata d'shmai, he had help, he's a good guy, he becomes a partner in Hashem? Yeah, because Hashem wanted this world to be a place where emes is brought into this world. So when he judges according to what Hashem's emes would be, he becomes a partner with Hashem. Because Hashem can't do it without us. Hashem can't do it without him. Now watch what he says. Wow. But a judge that passes according to his own svara of his mind, even if he's right, it's connected to Torah. Because the point is to tap into God's will. Of course, it can only work with the svara. It's very comp- super complicated stuff. Because if it doesn't make sense to the die and he's not going to pass him against what his svara is. But the point is, he's not meant to use the svara of his own seichel. He's meant to be a conduit to, to tap in to what Hashem would want to, these people to do. Let's say they're fighting over money, there's an argument, whatever it is. What would Hashem pass him? That's why it's very important not just to have smart dayanam, but to have holy dayanam, that they could be a conduit for the dvar Hashem. That is the chuke atayr. That is the way of the of the Torah. That the din should go according to what Hashem wants. Mishum kach kasev atayr as parshas amishpatim beemtze ini kabal satayr baseres adibris kizeh hemshech laseres adibris. So too with all the mishpatim. It's written in the middle of the aseres adibris. It's it's a hemshech laseres adibris, and it is is written beemtze in kabal satayr. Right in the middle. What is, what is, these are like technical stuff. Don't cross at the red. You're going to get a ticket if you're speeding. Because it's very, very important. It's a hemshech. It's a hemshech la seres adibris. Because it's taking the concepts of the seres adibris and it's going more betzimtzum, more, more into practical ways. But it's all from the same thing. It's an echi Hashem alekecha, going all the way to how to live your life in every way, down to the little, little intricacies of how to tie your shoes. How to say moida'ani, how to wash your hands, how to make a bracha. Everything is coming from that same thing. Where Hashem wanted to have a dear betachtainim, how do you take something that is Hashem, which we can't, you know, our hands aren't big enough to spread to figure out what Hashem is, and make it that this little ant, little roach, little cockroach, little person should be able to have a dear betachtainim and to live according to Hashem. So that's why Hashem made not just big concepts, but technical stuff, how to live. How to do when a person can make a right turn or a left turn, a person can put on his right shoe or his left shoe, and he does it according to Dvar Hashem, he's bringing Hashem into the world of Gashmias, into the world which was the purpose of creation. It's not a little thing. When we live with doing what the halacha is to do, we are bringing godliness into this world. And it can't be done by anybody else, and it can't be done in any other way. So people say, like, What's the big deal? What's the big if I this or if I that? It's all brought down from Hashem all the way through the Tanaim, the Amirum, all the way down to a halacha. They actually wrote a book. And if we, can't, if we negate halacha, we're like the Goyim. We're negating living according to the will of Hashem. When we do halacha, even if it seems like we don't understand, like what's the big deal? Like what's so big deal about an elbow? What's so great looking about an elbow? If we live according to this book that's been passed down, they know Ratz and Hashem better than we do. 
right? Better than the conservative and the reforms and the other people that don't know Ratzon Hashem. These are the rabbis that understand Ratzon Hashem. They lived it and we trust them. We have a Muna and Munas Chachamim, which is very important to have. And they're telling us that this is what Hashem wants. Okay, so if I do it, I'm not doing it because it makes sense. I'm not doing it because I, I, I believe that this is the right thing. I'm doing it because this is bringing Hashem into the little world. How do you bring Hashem into the world? Yeah, when you come out of the bathroom, you wash your hands, and you say, Asher Yatzar, you brought Hashem into, he's now in this, by doing mundane, mundane stuff. It's a very, very incredible concept. You can bring Hashem into this world, and nobody could do it besides you. Only you could bring Hashem into this world. He created the world for the purpose of being brought into the world. Who's going to do it? Only the tzaddikim? No, you and me. Every time we do something right, we're bringing Hashem into this world, and we are fulfilling the entire purpose that He created the world. That's why He created the world. He wanted to live down here. He wanted holiness to be in here. He wanted us to go to work and do our things and eat and go through our lives and bring Him into the picture. So you're sitting next to somebody else, that person eats, doesn't make a bracha, doesn't make an after bracha, doesn't bench, doesn't wash, he's a regular person. You go ahead and you make sure it's kosher, you bring Hashem into this world. You wash your hands, you make hamoitzi, you make a bracha, you bench, you did the same mundane acts as the guy next to you, but you did something so amazing. You brought God into this world. And there's no other way to do it, and no one else can do it. That's our tafke, that's our purpose, that's why Hashem chose us. So the whole Shema Yisra'er Boi B'Shalach, it's all about Hashem saying, okay, created the world in Bereshis, established what I established. Now, I want to build, I want to deal with which was the purpose of the creation of the world, and that's what this whole Sefer is about. <laughs>